during the lockdown, every so often I would come into the school building and it was empty and there was an eeriness. You need children in a school and when they're not here, that energy is missing. It just makes us realise how important a school community is and how important that is as part of the development of a young person's life. There was a real desire in our community to revive the arts, both in students and staff. So our project was called Reflections and it consisted of many smaller projects within that. Poetry, music, art, which the students could engage with and staff to share some of this experience. We asked the students to reflect on something that they had lost. It could have been a loved one, but it could have been that sense of loss of freedom or that independence or confidence. And like all forms of grief, bereavement or loss, I think to be able to come out the other end, you have to reflect and give time and it heals. There's healing power in that. Our literacy team got together and students were encouraged to write poetry about their experience of the pandemic. Students from different year groups illustrated beautiful artwork that represented and reflected the words in the poetry. And they're hanging around the school and they were performed uh, during our Quivnius Colora ceremonies as well. We just really wanted um, students to work through sadness and grieving through artwork and to try and show them that there is a process, like a journey and a process that they can do through art. We decided to paint Van Gogh's Starry Night to bring beauty and life to our school community. The sparkling stars symbolise hope and light in dark times. The pathway of the sky represents our journeys through life. The individual brushstrokes have come together harmoniously, teaching us about the beauty of supporting one another. The blue shades portray sadness, but they're complemented by warm oranges and yellows, which convey positivity and hope. We are hoping people can see that even the darkest night can be bright with stars. We wanted a project for the staff specifically, so we took the notion of cranes, origami cranes, the birds that represent peace and resilience, and that led to our beautiful project, The Dance of the Cranes, uh, which was guided and crafted by decorative artist Patricia O'Malley. So that's hanging up for the whole community to see. Many of our projects are ongoing. We've started them. We have space for them to grow throughout the rest of this year and beyond. The Seed Grant provided a beautiful opportunity for students and staff to participate within the arts, to come to terms with their own experiences along with the collective experience of the past two years and to share, to express themselves in whatever way they felt comfortable.